What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? So what we're going to be doing today is basically an update to my team. I'm going to show you who I picked up, why I picked them up, and why I made the decisions that I made. And then at the end, I'm open a full legend pack because I reached level 50. So we'll see what we pull then. I am be, I am going to be hoping I get Lawrence Taylor, of course, because he is going for the most and most likely. I'll probably use him at first, but then I'll end up selling him because there's other players that I want. I really don't need him right now. So, But yeah, that'll be the ultimate goal. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the game. So let's go to my team. All right. Okay. So as you guys could tell from the last time, I did pick up Todd Gurley. I got him from the 89 to 90 uh, Mutt Superstars award pack from playing the solos and stuff for getting 145 stars for that. But anyways, the new player that I got is Patrick Mahomes. So I want to get, I'll, let me break this down real quick. The reason I got him, not because he's just a 90 or supposedly he's the best QB in the game. He is pretty decent. But the reason why I got him is because there's only another 90 and that's John Elway. John Elway is decent, but the difference between these two and they're most close to the same price, not too much, but maybe a 50,000 coin different or whatever, at least when I bought him. And the thing about, I like about Patrick Mahomes is he saves you a lot of money in training. And why I say that is because he already comes with a superstar X Factor ability already on him, as well as three abilities that are already on him too that are activated. So understanding that, I was like, you know what? He's worth, I paid 390,000 coins at that time. Now he's going for like 411,000 to more the last time I checked, which I looked today. So that's why I picked up him was for that reason, because he comes with an X-Star, X, X Factor ability, as well as three, uh, as well as three slots already for abilities. Not slots, I mean, uh, three abilities already on him. So that's why I got him. But anyways, and like I said, in the end, if, if they come out with another QB that I really want, which the only one that I'm really looking forward to is Troy Aikman right now, or another Cowboy that, that would take his place, then I could just sell him. But like He'll always be sellable. People are always going to want him. He's going to eventually probably go to a 9-9, and he's going to be the glitchiest card probably. But that'll be the only time I get rid of him, and I know I can always sell him. So that's why I'm just, I'm just telling you right now, that's why I made the decision to buy him. I'm not telling you guys to have to go out there and buy him to me. And my decision, if you guys want a good, decent card to actually work good, I'm telling you right now, that Andrew Luck, to me, is a budget beast quarterback, and he works decent. Like, he's, he's th he throws a lot of good dots. I used them, and I like them. The only reason I didn't pick him up is because I know I can always sell his Patrick Holmes, and why not pick him up and use them? I had the coins, and so that's why I did it. But everyone's going to do what they're going to do. Okay, okay, let me go back. I messed up. Let me go back. I got one more player to introduce, which is this Territory Hope. Okay, so I got him. You know, he's a level master. So once I, I think level 49, you get the last uh, token upgrade or 48. I think it was 48. And uh, I was able to get him to a 90. So he's the one I added. If you guys haven't seen his uh, stats, let's go ahead and look at him. He got 90 speed, 89 catching traffic, 80, 88 short route. So basically, this guy is one of the best cards in the game right now. He's actually fast. He's elusive. Like he gets, he, he makes it happen. I've been using him and he has a, a decent height. And now let's go over here because I know I forgot to go over his stats just so you guys can see his stats. I mean, so if you guys seen him or if you haven't seen him or you haven't had the time, whatever. But this is his stats. He got 89 throw power, 86 throw deep accuracy, which is which <laughs> it really helps me a lot. And his other stats are 85, 87 when it comes to accuracy, mid and short. Um, under pressure, the only thing I like is the play action. And that does affect that at times when people are like, while well, he has this throw power, he has this accuracy, but his play action is 79. So he's going to miss throws at times and he has with me. But overall... He's been a decent car, and when he does throw it far, like the the uh, deep deep accuracy for the deep, like it's just clean. It's a clean throw. Like I enjoy it. Like ain't like the receiver has to like usually with the last quarterback Baker Mayfield, my receivers usually have to go back and fight for the ball or grab the ball and risk getting tackled and stuff like that. This guy would just dot it. They're gonna catch it right in their hands and keep on running with it. Like it is so clean, and I'm enjoying this card right now. So, so then where his stats, just so you guys can see it. The next one, we're going to go to the defense. So if you guys can see me see, uh, who did I pick up? As you guys haven't seen. So this is the guy that I picked up right here. I picked him up uh, today. Geno Atkins, I was grinding out. The, he's a theme builder. And then, and then uh, I get a few other theme builders too that I get to pick. But he, he's a, this is the last one I got. And like I said, my whole goal is to basically get the theme builders that I know that I'm not actually going to buy with coins or the, or the positions. 
or that I don't want to have to go after right away. So he's one of them, and he's actually pretty decent. Let's go ahead and look at his stats. He's 71 speed. To start off the game with, it's pretty decent. 77 acceleration, 83 string, A1 block shedding. All In comparison to these other cards, he's pretty decent. I like his speed. That's what really attracts Look at this guy. He's 50 speed. I definitely ain't going to. Fletcher Cox is pretty decent. I even put him as a starter because he got 67 speed, and this guy only got 61. That's why. But Geno Atkins. I picked them up, like I said, because I know that these are the positions I don't want to have to go 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 after right away. If I don't have to, I get them from the theme builders, and I will be picking up more. The next one I pick up too will be another defensive tackle, and then we'll go on from there. So that's why I picked up him because, like I said, I'm trying to fill positions that I know that I don't have to um, spend coins on right now. That I can basically save my coins for players that I want in other positions. And so that's why I'm doing it. So if you guys want to go ahead and do that with your theme builders and do it, but that's something to consider when you're actually using these theme builders, like really think about it. If you, if you're going to plan on um, buying or wanting to buy a certain player and it's, a, it's in a basic, you're really going to fill that position, then use the theme builders for positions that you're really going to need. That's what I encourage. And right now we're going to upgrade Jalen Ramsey. Why? Because I got the 87 to 88 power up pass for going to level 50. So we'll keep him in there. Hope um, he's been pretty a glitchy card. Hope he continues to be glitchy. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. X Factor. I don't have enough training right now to put the X Factor on him, so I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with that later on. I'll go through all the training, all that stuff, and see who I want to put X Factor on. But I got three people on defense with X Factors, so you can only have them three activated at one time. So I'm fine with that. So this is the new team now. My 86. My offense is at 87. Everything's looking good. I'm gonna get another, like I said, I'm gonna get another defensive tackle. I'm gonna get another tight end right here, which is gonna be Delaney Walker, the team builder. And then I'm gonna get uh, Amari Cooper because you know I'm a Cowboy fan, so I wanna make sure I get him. So then will be my team builders. Once I have all 10 theme builders, just know that I will give you guys an update. I will come out with a video and let you guys know, like, hey, these are all the theme builders I got, so you guys can see them all at once and see every one that I picked, and I'll go through them. Through them again with you and tell you why and how everything's turning out. Okay, so another thing that I want to tell you guys right now is this Larry Allen. I had a problem because he has identifier on and it's not it's not working online. You know, like last year you put identifier on you go online, it works, you can see your opponent, whatever. I like having that on there. It's not working. So what I did find out was this. Um no no let me go, let me go over here. Dicky, check this out. This is what I did find out. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it later on. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm not going online. But you have to literally activate it. So if I activate this, this means that all the other X Factor or one of the X Factors off one of my other players is not going to be activated. So just for identifier, like I thought this was for superstar abilities, which it says. So highlights the defender opponent. So you have to basically activate this and, and it takes away from your one of your other players that actually have a superstar ability. And so that's why I was insane. Like if I activate it right now, let's look at it says activate i'm not gonna activate it because i don't need to i'd rather have my superstar abilities on someone else but just so you guys know i didn't know that i discovered that the other day because i was tripping out and uh i will activate just to see how how it is and how it works if that was the case but yeah that's really what's been going on and so that that's the update to the team so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and end it with a bang see who i pick up this will be a full legend so it's gonna be worth it i got the i got the points up there ready so let's go ahead and do it all right. Uh, I got Michael straight. I, I'm not mad because I already got his car powered up. All I got to do is add into the set. But it's really going to come down to if I want to keep him because they got Demarcus Lawrence right now. They got Demarcus Lawrence right now because he's the car that I really want. But I'm not mad, though, because like I said, I was going to get him and put him into my as a left in anyway because I already have him powered up. Like, I'm going to keep him anyway. But it's a matter of I, I'm probably going to sell him and end up picking up. Demarcus Lawrence and the reason why is because like I said he comes with all the abilities and everything on him already So I might end up doing just doing that. But yeah, I, I, I think we'll see what happens But yeah, it, it's cool. It's decent. It's 200,000 coins, but that's what we picked up So we'll leave it like that. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna end it right here I just want to do this video to show you guys update to my team pull that full legend pack for you guys to see who I get Hopefully you guys pull someone glitch too when you reach level 50 if you haven't already and until next time man You guys all have a nice day. I'm out